If I mark the special part where I'd like to read it. Salutations, everyone, welcome back to the stream of the Heath of Shiklam and Sayuri. Poorly dying due to my actions, and now the game is reset. Now, if you haven't watched my edited version of my of the last episode, uh, the t there was a TX, like, the thing is, the game, like, the game changes, like, the code and everything. And apparently there's this TXT explaining of someone being like, Hey, what if I delete the game? What would happen, you know? And also, Siri's character char is, like, gone. So, like, deleted. So, that's pretty interesting. A lot of lore to unfold. And I'm really excited, you know? A lot of lore, a lot of fun. And, I'm... and yeah. Even though the fun part isn't good, especially since now things have gone rough with Siri. Oh my god. <sighs> It was a shocking time, and I and I didn't know how to react, and it was just so. And I, I don't know, man. It was very conflicting, like I don't know. I was very conflicted. Oh yeah, also since the the whole thing started with the whole game reset, Yuri is now mashed up Yuri and Monica together. Like, mash up. Which is very, very weird. So, this will be fun. The thing is, what we need to find out is like, who is this she that was in Sayori's poem and as well in the TXT? Who knows? I talked about this with Eve and she's like, bro, it could be Monica, you know how sketchy she is. And I'm like, okay, sure, whatever, man. Anyways, so the game reset. Which is, we're all alone. Siri's gone. So let's just, you know, let's, let's continue. Continue how history first. Oh shit! Yeah, it says nope, dude. Yep, yeah, this is the whole thing of like kachow and like just pure gibberish. And then nope, dude. Nope, dude. Ask, 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 you know. Well, so I'll start from the beginning here, since I should have ended it earlier at this part, but whatever. It's an ordinary school like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to, uh, walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's a, it's about time to meet some girls or something like that. Would have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content by just getting by on the average while spending all my free time on games and anime. Same here, dude. There's always an anime club, but it's not like there will be any girls in it anyway. Bruh, I'm right here. The school day is as early as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There aren't really any, any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me. For me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. You know? Person. Oh! Monica! It, it's already getting creepy again. Like, really? Not again. It's turning into a scary ass game. Monica? Monica? Oh my goodness! Oh no, that's not the voice I gave her. Oh my goodness! I told you to you to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Okay. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuine feels feels a little. Come, come in here for anyway. Oh, I've been looking for some supply. Um, I've been looking for some supplies for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here, or markers? I guess you, sh you sh I guess you should. You could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh huh. 
I thought that out. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I, ca I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but, but arguing about the budget and publicity and how and how to prepare for events. I rather the magic take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Allergic club. Bro. Bro. What are the nail glitches? What are the nail glitches? Do like, do like, <gasps> like I know. Literature. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. It's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. It's really not boring at all, you know. Literature, literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of the members keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Bro, is my character gonna go after Nasuki? Hell no. Nah. Oh hell no. Nah. I'm still- I'm still going for Yuri. Like, come on. Hmm. Like, I- I'm going. I'm still going for Yuri. Like, screw you, Nesuki. Screw you. No offense. I'm sorry. Hey, you know? By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you, you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least visit my club, it would really make me happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I'll check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, you know? You know that? <laughs> it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for, I'll look, I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Thanks, dude. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her in and her irresistible smile. She's okay. I typically follow Monica across the school and uh, and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely I rarely visit, being generally used for third for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swing, oh, swings open the open swings open the classroom door. English. I'm. What is it? Oh my god. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. I, okay, I'm gonna put my chair with me. I'm gonna have my chair with me literally on my back, or else I'm gonna feel chills down my spine and feel like someone's watching behind me. Eh? Uh, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Nasuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, you know? All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. Yeah, some of, some of the dialogue is the same. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? Uh, no, I'm not. Nasuki, the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Nasuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think that she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Nasuki, energetic as usual, and this is Yuri, the vice president. It, it, it's nice to meet you. Yuri appears comparable and mature and timid, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Nasuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both. So, I ran to Yuno know, in the club room, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that. I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? 
Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, you know? The rest of the few that's arranged to form a table. Gary walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Asuki sit across from each other. So feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Lucha Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't any more people in this club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all their effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. A like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that, that you're both fun and worthwhile. It makes, it makes school events like the festival that are much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow at this club before we graduate. Right, Asuki? Well, I guess. Asuki redu- Words. <sighs> oh, what are these words? <clears throat> uh, Nasuki reluctantly, yeah, reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Oh my god. This is really weird. It's really weird because, like, it is the normal dialogue how it was in the beginning. And it's more weird because, you know, it's Monica at this time that's, that's Sayuri. This is so weird. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a tea cup in front of each of us before sitting, setting down the teapot in the middle. You have the whole tea set in this classroom? You, no, it's my room. That's my line. Oops. You, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't make yourself intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Eh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know? I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not, might, might not be a passing for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri's so awesome. Oh. Yuri's still great. Wow, she's great. Yuri finally smiles to herself in relief. So, you know, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how I've never read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga? I wonder quietly to myself, half joking. Asuki has suddenly perks up. She looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her tea rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story of such a foreign world is equally impressive. One sec. Okay. Okay, everything works. So just checking everything. Okay. Here goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up when she finds her comfort in the world of books. No, it's obvious in the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. I said that wrong. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories that. What deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't that amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to com to completely throw you throw you for a loop? Anyway, I'm reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read horror book once. This is regret something I relate I relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, you might be having a converse have a conversation with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your, it suits your personality. Is, is that so? Really? If a story makes me think, or makes me to, makes me, or takes me to another world, then I can really, put, then I can't really put it down. 
Surreal horror is often successful at change the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just- Masuri's eyes dart over for me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. That's right. You should write- you, sh you should like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? W what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It, it looks like you're writing a poem called- Don't say it out loud! Give me- and give that back! My voice is horrible right now. So if I can't reach that high note for a moment, then I can't. Like, my voice right now is a bit shit. It's a bit shit. So I will most likely not hit Natsuki's voice and it will sound dry. So excuse, so excuse my very poor reading. Eh. Uh, it says here. Like, and get that back. Fine, fine. Masuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Masuki averts her eyes. You- you wouldn't like them. Ugh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Masuki feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is spreading to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your ears, exposing your vulnerability and showing even your deepest reaches of your heart. I remember it. Do you have writing? Do you have writing experience? Experience too, Yuri. If you could share some of your work, you can sample to, and and help Nasuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> Her reaction is still the same. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Well, sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Question mark. Masuki and Yuri look 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 quizzily at Monica. Let's go home and write poems of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Hmm. Ah. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should at least probably s start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide on- I decided to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best- I need, to, I need to do my best to nurture the club- I need to do my best to nurture the club, as well as its members. Besides, now, we all, now that we have a new member, it seems a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, you know? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we've the most important topic, I'm finally come forth with what's been on my mind since the entire time. I never said I would, I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but never made any decision. I saw other clubs would look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stay back on me with, with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Uh... These girls are changed glasses before Monica turns back to me. I- I guess I can tell you the truth, you know? The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been really trying really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more- More before- If we don't find one more before the festival, our defense is against these girls. Who am I supposed to make a clear decision when it's like this? I will feel terrible to let everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay. I decided then. I'll just join the literature club. One by one, the girls I has let the girls light- the girls eyes light up, yeah. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, you know? Yeah. It could be fun, right? It really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would have been super pissed. You know, I'm- I'm so happy. 
We can all become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think it's time that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to read the next to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks at me once more. You know, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Y yeah. I really impressed this, the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel anxiety welling up inside of me. Oh well, the girls continue the chit chat as Yuri cleans up tea, cleans out the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Wow, I'm, my character is very lonely now. My character is a very lonely guy that has nothing to do with this time. Jesus. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Asuki. Yuri. And of course, Monica. I'll, I'll, be hap I'll be happy spending every day at the school in the literature club. Perhaps I have a chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and make sure good fortune will, will find me. And I guess it starts from running a poem tonight. Wow, this is this is a very quick day. If I'm like a special poem, I'd like to read it. Mmm. The last time I read a special poem, it ended really bad. And I mean really, really bad. Sure. Oh. A dream. I, I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at, at my friend's house. The only difference is there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. There was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't, the person I didn't recognize told the joke, and everyone laughed. I woke up to sound at everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV. The laughing was not part of the dream. It was a noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was. And how they knew to tell a joke. At that moment. This is really weird. I'm running the poem now. It's, oh, it's not even, it's 30, not even 30 minutes left. 30 minutes, and I'm already, the day's already ending. I guess the game's going quicker. The, the music is still getting me, you know? It's still great. I still love it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so since we're trying to get Yuri, I do things that are mysterious and very um sensation. Um, raindrops, tragedy. Uh, Picadius? I don't know what that means. Eternity, misery, determination. Melancholy, distorted, disarray, intelligence, hopeless, uh, philosophy, unending, uh, depression, Me melody, oh, that's for Nesuke, screw you, misfortune, uncontrollable, uh, scars. Unrestrained. Here we go. Another day. Anyways. Hi again, you know. Glad to see you did run away from us. Uh, nah. Nah. Don't worry. This might be another change for me, but at least I, at least I kept my word. Oh, I'm back at the literature club. I was, I was, I was asked to come in, so everyone else had already hanged out. 
sort of hanging out. Okay. Okay. What are you doing to what are you doing to Yuri? God damn it. The music's weird too. They just mirrors of the classroom just like slanted. It looks slanted. Thanks for coming your promise, you know. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you a dive head for some literature career when you're not accustomed to it. Everything's so weird. Oh no. Oh come on. Like he deserves any slack. You already had You already had the The music is tripping me up. It's really tripping me up. I I I I I uh you really had to be dragged here by Blanca. I don't know if, if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. The classroom is slanted. I know it is. It is very tripping me up. Oh my god. My eyes. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Our suitcase certainly has a big mouth with the club who has a manga collection in the classroom. Hmm. See, for so between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! So weird. Monica, since so I defeated that, see if back to your seat. I'm sorry, you know. I wish to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Nasuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyways. Now you're in the club and all. Perhaps you might be interested in picking up a book to read. Well. I can't really say no either way. Okay. Like you said, I'm in this club now. Well, it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Hey, everything is tripping me up. The music, the, 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 oh, oh, uh, everything is tripping me up. What, wait, I don't, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, you don't. You don't really want to. Then forget it, I said anything, I guess. No, no. Uh, no, it's not like that, Yuri. I just want to be part of this club. I really want, I want to- I want to try to be part of this club. Even- so even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick up a book if you don't want me to. Are, are you sure? I just feel like... Well, as vice president and all. I should keep you started on something you might like. Or if you just hear a bag and pulls out a book. I don't really want you to, to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so we should keep your attention. And if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Question got more slanted. Uh, she picks out a book and even though she thinks I'd like, she, she even puts out a book she thinks I'd like, despite not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'm definitely not reading this. I'm definitely reading this. Oops, said not. I, enthusiast I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own, p at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Okay, that everything's. Normal. Then everyone settled in. I expect Monica to kick off, kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But this doesn't seem. But this doesn't seem to be the case. Mary's face is already buried in the book. I can help but notice her intense expression while she was waiting for this chance. You're well. The secret rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to, to, talk to Yuri a little bit more. At the same time, I feel bad for distracting her from reading. Because she goes to the cover from the book. What is the same book that she went to me? More than that, she, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Crap. Okay, the music's normal. Everything else is normal. Thank God. Yuri's okay. <sighs> oh, I'm going to... Hell. 
I think she noticed me looking at her. She seems to look less at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. That only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just- sorry. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I'll mutter this, sen sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh! It's fine. I was just focused on how I would probably- I would- Oops. If I was focused, I probably wouldn't have noticed it at the, in the first place. What happened with her eyes? Her eye, actually. But I'm just reading a bit of this, so... That's just the book they- That's just the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I want to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious and just curious. How come we have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, I just stopped by the bookstore yesterday, and ah, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, uh, I see. It's only really barely obvious here that that you're even telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll tell you reading it too. I'm glad to hear. I start once, once it starts to pick up, you might, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's very engaging, and I, it's a very engaging, relatable story. Oh, so happy. So happy. Is that so? What's the story about it anyway? Well, well. Hmm. I'll look at the cover of the book. The book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. I should look that up, like, in the beginning of the book. There's no such thing as the book, because she's fictional. There was an ominous looking eye symbol on, on the front cover. Basically, it's a biologist camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines and, and that lust for blood. And the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people to cut. To by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the- not the thing about the lens. That's kind of- that's kind of dark, isn't it? It really sound like it was gonna be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of- came from nowhere. Ah, uh, are you not a fan of this or anything, you know? No, that's not it. I mean, I could definitely join this kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot your reason to those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that kind of story. It's the kind of challenge that challenges that you look at life form at life from a strange new perspective. So the horrible so the horrible things not just because someone wants to be evil. But sometimes the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... Uh, I'm feeling chills. <laughs> I'm really not in the mood for chills. I'm really not. <clears throat> okay. I'm- I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I don't have lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's still right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let- when I- When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, The same the history? Yeah. Is that like her body feels like something? <laughs> okay. This is, this is a horror visual novel. Alright, whatever. Let's continue. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you're so worried. 
Which means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do, the least I can do is listen. The Literature Club, after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I may as well get started, get, I may as well get started reading it then, alright? That was my line. In fact, I might as well get right, get started reading it, right? Yes! I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Just... Let me just skip a book. I think I retrieved the book and that I put into my bag. Alright, alright, that's why I sit here, right? I slip into the scene next to Yuri's. Ugh. Yeah. Are you sure? So I'm a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. Not that I don't want you to. It's just... This is something I'm not very used to. That's it. Reading and talking to someone else. I see. Well, sorry, just tell me if I'm not distracting you or anything. Alright. Please not Yuri, please! Please not her, please! I open the box to the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading and company. It says I must if I feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. I'm so scared. I'm scared of Yuri. Yeah, I should be scared. It's a special character, god damn it. <laughs> Put it together. Okay. It's not any. It's not a particularly a bad thing. You may know the short thing. But the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I know that she's not really looking at her own book. I glance over. I she's reading from my book instead. So, sorry. I was just. I said something about bathing your body into something. You really do apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? I didn't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> yeah, that should work, right? Summer does until it's up against your race, and I hold my book more between the two of them. Ugh. I suppose so. Your team really closes her own copy. While I feel laying a little bit, her shoulders are almost touching. Because like my left arm is in the way, and so instead I use my right hand to open the, the book open. Ugh. <sighs> uh, I guess you would say it's kind of, kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. I'm so scared. I'm really scared. Uh, <sighs> Please, just it won't happen. Anything won't happen to you. Just have to pray. He rotates her left arm and holds the last of her book between her thumb and forefinger. Ugh. If there's anything wrong with her, I'm on the right side of the book. That way, turns the page and Mirror's has it under her thumb after. After it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, I hold it even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. I think I feel the warmth of your face as she. and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? It's on the page. Ah, oh, sorry. I think I'll be distracted for a second. Let's over her face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. <sighs> it's okay. You're not used to reading it, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. If it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Continue reading. You're gonna allow her as you for already turn the page. I said I was just doing as she finished the picture for me, so I, so I turned it by my own violation. You can change the first chapter in silence. So, turning the page on this was like an intense and intimate exchange. 
I thought he gently lets go of the page, letting a flutter over, over to the side as she, as she creases it with only one thumb. Harry? Harry? This might be so I thought, but I think you to kind of want to see if you know it. Eh? This is a- this is a different art form. This is different. I remember. This is different. This is different. In the beginning, I remember she doesn't have this facial expression. I remember. I'm big brain. But no, I can't really see this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was kind of thinking that was second guess this thing and, and says and all that. Uh, uh, that's- that's what you're talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get- you didn't get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> you're- are you feeling alright? Huh? There's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can re- You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Her, Yuri puts her hand over her chest, as if to feel her heartbeat. I... I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some wa- I just- I just need this- I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically pushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? You know? Something happened just now. Eh? I have no idea. It was acting a bit no strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, no or nothing. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I believe he's silly. You're just us, just does it sometimes. It's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. But I yawned. Anyway, why don't we start reading each other poems with each other? Huh? She read for you, right? Well, she might she might be a while. So I just figure out we can start it without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was going to ask wait. Yeah, I was just asking. I send up. I'm, I make a mental note where I lost off in the book and spit it into my bag. Which poem should, who should I show my poem first? Okay. So now, Suki or Monica? I really don't like Natsuki, but Monica's acting really sketchy. Sketchy or dislike? I have to choose. I have to choose, but you know what? I also don't have to choose, you know why? Because I'm ending the stream! <laughs> ah, suckers. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm sorry, with Monica. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a jerk. Wait, so we're gonna go on and then. <gasps> Well, that depend- well, for, well, we're reading this one moment, depending on how long it takes for me to read the other one. I start with Monica. I said she's an eager to read my poems, so I want to know that I'm putting an effort. Hi, you know. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Glad to hear it. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club with new activities or things we, should, we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be, afraid, don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'm afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want want, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't worry, you know. We're all now embarrassed today, you know? <clears throat> But it's sort of a barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had a monocle on my poem. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like I need to burp, but I don't want to burp because it's very informal. Okay, I'm good. Great job, you know. I was going oh in my head while reading it. It's very metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimate you. It's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it counts it always counts when I put some effort. <laughs> That's not fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know what? Your box is kind of writing, right? Writing is full of imaginary and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean that's a bad thing, though. So, but sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. She spent so much time in her own head, there's probably so much that, that it's probably much more interesting. That's a, probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a, with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's so used to being indulged like that. She really wants to be starred for social interaction. Don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think she might be get too sti simulated and simulated. She ends up withdrawing and looking for time alone for a, for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our points to each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. I have plenty of time, so I'm glad you, you that you all took a little time when you needed. Alright. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should, I should click on my poem now. Anyway, are you my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. So I'm pretty confident for someone who comes to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I'm, I'm always that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay. Hole in the wall. Hole in the wall, but it wasn't looking at me. Confused, I practically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned eyes were no long can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on a flash? Or simply poems on flashes of paper? The sound of frantic crawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing on me. The air I breathe dissipates me before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There has to be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. I swallow my fears and vanish and brandish my pen. Oh, wow. So this he that she's talking about doesn't know she's exists. And that, like, I'm pretty sure Monica likes this he. Which I'm pretty sure is my character, it's so very conflicting. I still can't get over here, I got to do it. My heart is still just so annoying. So, what do you think? Um, it's very free forming, if that's what you call it. I'm oh, sorry, I never really heard this person that's your feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, this is kind of I, I found pretty popular nowadays. That's it. A lot of things have been really emphasizing on the timing between words and lines. When we're forming it out loud, it can be really powerful. No inspiration behind this one. Ah, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you say I can't, I I had some kind of epiphany recently. I've been influencing my poems now, but an epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I kind of nervous talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Maybe when everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's rant of the day. Sometimes running a poem or a story, your brain, your brain gets too fixated on a, on a, on a specific point. So trust me, if you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. When you keep pen in the same spot for too long, you get a dark you get a big dark pile of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. It's like it's like a podcast. Thanks, guy, you're in a suki. <laughs>